everybody, it's Sharon here. If you're like most people, you've had enough turkey and leftovers to last you for a whole year. And the days are definitely getting shorter and the nights are colder, so it's time for some venison. Now, we don't just harvest them for the sport. It's a source of sustainment for us. And what we don't keep, we donate so that others can also enjoy. So it's kind of a way to help out the community too. But today I'm going to show you a really simple yet delicious chili recipe. Now, as you can see, we get the uh, burger meat from the processor. It's in about one pound packages, sometimes a little bit more or less. I basically just cut up a sweet onion. Of course, you got to have butter in there. Uh, get those onions to sweat so you can get that flavor out and then go for the um, burger meat. So sometimes we'll have it mixed with pork or some other meat. This is just pure venison. Get that all browned up really good with some butter. And then I add the chili powder, or at least some of it, in the beginning so it sticks to the meat. Seems to make the flavor a little bit better. Just mix that all together. And now I add the rest of the chili powder. Now we don't like really spicy chili, so I take it easy and we can always add more. Add some more cumin, brown sugar, black pepper, of course, and salt. And I use a beef bouillon base, which is um, a lot thicker and a lot heartier. A little garlic, tomato paste, and then, of course, the crushed tomatoes. Just get that all mixed in there with a little bit of beer. Now, I didn't use a whole can. Um, I was going to... Well, let's just say it was too early. It was 10 a.m. So I did end up putting the whole can in and get that all mixed up and then just dump her in the crock pot. And I know some people don't like those liners, but I'm telling you, if you've ever had to clean out a crock pot, you'll definitely want to try those. Cover that up and leave it sit. And I put it on low for six hours. Now, the smell was so good in the kitchen. I mean, I don't have any trouble waiting for it to get done, but um, that's not the same for everybody. Hey, what are you doing? Uh-uh. What? It's having some chili. It's not ready yet. You got to put it down. What do you mean not yet? It's been cooking like for hours. I know it's. All right, everybody, look at that face. I mean, it's like somebody let the air out of his tractor tires. Or worse yet, he just found out that Bobcat quit making attachments. Oh, honey. Got a couple more hours yet. Put the spoon down. All right. You can have some later. I'll take my bologna off to the deer stand. Oh, that, that's perfect. That, that'll be perfect. So once Joe left the kitchen, it was safe for another couple of hours. Now, in the meantime, I had already opened up the cans of beans. I use a different variety of them, uh, rinse them off real good. And I also had a package of sweet corn, which was left over from this summer that I froze. Mix that all together. Gosh, that sweet corn smelled just like it when I froze it. Let it simmer for another half hour and the only other thing left to do was enjoy. So when Joe came back from hunting, he had some nice venison chili to enjoy. Have your own favorite venison chili recipe or anything venison? Let me know. We'd love to hear it. Thanks for watching. If you like our channel, please hit the subscribe button and share.